Uh, we've got a question from Gianna asking, what emphasis, if any, is placed on graduate coursework, say a master's uh, training program or master's granting program, uh, and GPA in comparison to the undergraduate GPA? So how would you look at that for a second well, as, as a master's? Yeah. Uh, Gianna, mm -hmm. um, again, I'm going back to what I said earlier, there's a holistic review. If you're pursuing a graduate degree to show that you have a graduate degree, uh, that's not necessarily going to win any um, uh, favors or fans in our office. Uh, we want, you know, we're basing our decision on your academic record, primarily your undergraduate record. Uh, I've seen students who've had indifferent undergraduate GPAs, indifferent coursework as an undergraduate, uh, get into a graduate program and they, they seem to do unbelievably well, mm -hmm. and then they have an indifferent or mediocre MCAT score. That mm -hmm. MCAT MCAT scores more validation than of their undergraduate work than their graduate work. You see. So that's what I mean by the holistic um, review of their application. Um, the way it's reported on AMCAS is mm -hmm. we see the GPA across these sections and down uh, in terms of uh, their, their BCPM, the biology, mm -hmm. chemistry, physics, and math, all others, and then cumulative by each year and that gets reported as a cumulative undergraduate GPA if they've taken any post-baccalaureate courses but not graduate courses, mm -hmm. that is shown as a post-bac GPA and then gets calculated into their undergraduate GPA, so which is where they can in. show improvement. If you've taken a graduate program of studies, uh, we will see that GPA, but it won't be uh, calculated into your undergraduate GPA because it's considered graduate. And so some people lose the benefit of, of uh, their efforts to try to show improvement when in fact, you know, a lot of the, the programs, uh, I had a woman who applied to us this year, wrote to, to us saying uh, uh, she was surprised she was rejected. She had an opportunity to do a certificate at a post -bac program, mm -hmm. but opted for a, a master's program to show that she was capable of doing master's level work she got an excellent GPA in the master's. However, her uh, undergraduate GPA and her MCAT score were, were both fairly low. Interesting. And so we just decided that the graduate one wasn't strong enough to, to override the undergraduate mm -hmm. and MCAT score. Which would be considered the foundational courses for exactly, medical school itself. Exactly, so exactly. Presumably in that scenario, if she had had a, she had retaken the MCAT after uh, after her master's program and performed much better on it, mm. that would be a very different story, would it not? It, it would be a different story, but it also depends on where she was applying. Of course. 